Hello and welcome to part nine of Uniting Iberia. Guys, yeah. it's over. I ruined it. This campaign was going so well, so incredibly well, and I ruined it. I got greedy. What can I say? I got greedy. We'll we'll go over what happened. So I'm I start the video off and I'm doing well. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm expanding. I'm gonna unite all of Iberia. Let's go to a war. And then I looked at all the notifications. It says. First in line to inherit the Holy Roman Empire, I was like, that sounds amazing. I'll become so powerful. I'll, I'll become the most powerful in the entire game. Oh, was I dumb? Was I so, so, so dumb? So what do I do? I, I try to murder him, uh, the Holy Roman Empire. I'll, I'll murder him. I hired a whole bunch of people to, onto the scheme. I was like, that guy is dead. I am going to kill him. I will become the Holy Roman Empire. So I get my bandits out and I get ready to assassinate him. I go for it. I go to click the button. I am ready to murder him. The peasants are going to mob him. 95% chance I go for it. And what happens? What do you think? I kill him. I'm the Holy Roman Empire. Congratulations. I win. I'm the best. Who thinks it's going to go well? Oh, me. I just killed the Holy Roman Empire. I'm the Holy Roman Empire. This whole entire emperor is a mine. This empire is huge. I'm going to succeed. Well, what is that? I'm already in a civil war. Yes, I inherit a civil war. I mean, I'm getting absolutely crushed in the civil war. But I bring it back. I get closer and closer to winning the civil war. I'm going to get it. And then what happens? I get assassinated and I die. And so then I'm no longer the Holy Roman Empire because I get assassinated. And now I am just the king of Castile under the Holy Roman Empire. I am now a vassal of the Holy Roman Empire as the kingdom of Castile. So the only thing that happened was I lost the title and I became a vassal. Oh, dude, that sucks. I become a vassal. Well, you know, all I have to do is do an independence war. And then, boom, I'm no longer a vassal. I have enough power. I have enough strength. I could do this. Nothing else could go wrong. I am still on top of the game. I hold all of Castile. I am winning. I am strong. And what happens? I get kicked out of power, and I lose the title of King of Castile. And I am now just a stupid little county. Well, I'm the grave one. I'm not no noob at CK3. I know exactly what to do. I will assassinate the king. Boom, assassinate him. I assassinate him. That is what I, there will be a new king in power. He won't have any alliances. He'll be weak. So what will I do? I will be, do a claim and I will uprise and I will become the king once again. And what do I do? I become the king once again. And what happens is the AI decided to make three second break clans. So there is now three kingdoms in Iberia. So now I am back to where I started in episode one. Everything I've done up to this has almost been wiped out. We are back to the start. The entire campaign is ruined. But could it still be played? Possibly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little break from our series. I thought this was a fun little thing for me to do. This is kind of a summarization of the next couple of episodes. This is kind of like a sneak peek, but I'm, the, the series is going to continue tomorrow as normal, as long with a time lapse on Friday as well. I just thought this would be like a fun little thing to throw uh, because I was really frustrated. So this is kind of my way of getting my frustration out. But this series is going to continue, I think. Uh, I'm going to re try to recapture everything. It might be very, very hard, but this series might continue a little longer than I thought it was. I thought it was over, but it looks like we're going to have to expand for a little bit longer. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Like and comment if you like this kind of short skit, and I'll see you in a future episode. Bye.